Hi everyone. I hope everyone's doing really good today. Um, I figured I'd come on and show uh, using some uh, shaving cream in your art. I know it's was been done millions of times, but I was going to come on and show y'all my point of view on it. Um, I got a bowl, and what I'm going to do is don't know how well this is going to work out, but we're going to give it a try and see. Fill it in, fill it up. Well, not fill it up, but put shaving cream in it. It's going to take a minute, y'all. Put a little bit in there. Take something, doesn't matter what you use, something kind of straighten it out just a little. I'm going to take a rag. Sorry about that. Um, take something and wipe your card off. That's all I'm doing right now is just wiping my card off. Um, get all the shaving and cream off of it. Get some food color. It's just regular food coloring. I guess I should hold it like that. Um, put some drops in it. Get your next color, Get some drops. Use however many colors as you want. Oops. And I don't normally use green, but I don't like the color green at all. But I'm going to put a few drops of green in here. Okay. Okay. Then you take something and run it through it. Okay, you end up with this. Then you can take book page, sit it down in there. You'll see the coloring coming through the paper. You 
You don't want to push it down too hard. Just lightly tap it on there. And then pick it up. Move that out of the way. Set your paper down. Preferably without making a mess. Take your card. Very, very gently. Uh, wipe it away. I always take it and just push it on the side of my bowl. Then you end up with a beautiful sheet with cool designs. Wipe your spot off and let me go hang this up to dry. Clean my mess up. Let's get another one. Ah, it's a clear sheet on that side. Do not know how many we're going to get out of this. But then you have beautiful sheets of paper with color on it that you can make pockets and tucks and all kinds of stuff out of. Another one. I just think they're so beautiful. Okay. Then again, clean the mess up. I'm sorry, I just Gotta clean my mess up after each sheet. Because if you don't, it just gets contaminated and on your other ones, and then you end up with a big mess. So if you do a little cleaning in between, then it'll be a lot easier for you. Now I'm gonna try this. Take all this that I've Wiped off the cards, off the paper, sorry. Put it back in here. Kind of smooth it down a little. Like I said, I don't know how this is going to work. I think most people do this with paint, but I was wanting to see how it would do with using um, food coloring. 
and it seems to be doing pretty good. It's turning out really nice. Okay, there's another one. Really neat. Okay. And like I said, you can do all sorts of things with them. You can make pockets and tucks for your journals. You can use your die cuts and cut out shapes with them. Um, and if you don't want food coloring all over your hands, you might want to wear some gloves. But I'm an artist and it don't bother me, so... Um, I don't, it's getting too, this right here is getting too mixed up, so I think I'm going to throw it away. Okay. Another sheet. Sorry, I'm being really quiet. Um, just <laughs> concentrating, I guess. Mm. This one has some spots that didn't quite get on. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We'll just have to see if it does. And it did. Got to have plenty of napkins and hair towels and stuff around because this is very messy. So right there's where it wasn't touching and I spread it out and got it on there. <sighs> Come on. Little pepper clips are not easy to use. Or not paper clips, but like little wooden clothespin things. <sighs> okay. Now what I'm going to do is clean this out. Let's see. Hmm.
And this is a good way to use up all your book pages too. Because I know I have a bunch of book pages where I've gutted books to use as journals. And I had no clue what I was going to do with them. And then I thought, hmm, why not do this? Let's see. Doesn't look like a whole lot of color got on this one, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, it did. All right. Now, I'm going to try to clean all this up. Okay. Give me just a minute. I'm going to go get all this out of here and we're going to do it with paint and see how that works. Give me just a minute. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know how to do the editing and, and all that. So, and if I was to stop it, then I'd have to do a whole new video. And, Cause I don't know how to piece them together yet. So just bear with me, get this dried out. Okay. Then we're gonna put, if I've got enough shaving cream, and put some more shaving cream in here. Uh oh. And I'm out of shaving cream, so let me just set. I'm so, so sorry, y'all. 
thought I had more. I've got this, but it's not white, so I don't know how that's going to play out. Guess we'll see. And I'm out of that too. So, Let's see if we can just get good enough in here. A few. Something I have learned though, you don't need a whole lot of shaving cream to do this. You just need a little bit in the bottom. There. Okay. Thought I had enough napkins and stuff out. But I didn't. Okay. Now we're going to try some paints. We're going to do some blue drops. Pink. Purple, dark purple, I'm sorry for not being more prepared, wasn't, I was just going to do the food coloring, then I thought, well, Let's try it with paint, too, to see how that works. So, here we are. So, what I'm going to do is take this. This one, you have to mix a little more. Because it is the paint. Mix it in the shaving cream. Okay. See how this does. I like doing it with paints better because it's more shinier and colorful. Which, don't, don't get me wrong, I mean, the food coloring was beautiful too, but look at that. I'm going to pick it up. It's beautiful. I think this is neater than doing a jelly plate. A little messier, though. That it is. 
But if you can't afford jelly plates, and you can get a big bottle of shaving cream for a couple bucks. So, if you can't afford a jelly plate, this is a good way to get your color on your paper. And as you've seen, I didn't have hardly any shaving cream in here. And I'm actually going to be able to do quite a bit with this little bit of paint. And so for this, all you got to have is some shaving cream, some any kind of shaving cream. And some either food coloring or paint. Food coloring is what we done first. Paint is these now. Um, and some book pages or some kind of paper to put down in it. And you get some beautiful color. So, I hope everyone enjoyed this video, and I hope you give it a try. And if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, then hit the subscribe button, and you can hit the little bell beside it and get notifications when I upload more videos. And I will be trying to get more videos out. Um, I just started a new job a couple months ago, and I'm finally starting to get my schedule straightened out so I should be able to get more videos out but thank y'all for watching and please if you give it a try um, share with me some pictures and tell me what you think bye guys